Welcome back here on this Tuesday morning. According to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, veterans make up about 12% of the homeless population here locally. We're talking about three to 400 people here in North Florida of the homeless population who are veterans as well. The Florida Veterans Foundation trying to help those veterans who have fallen through the cracks in our area by hosting a three day two night stand down and joining me this morning to talk a little bit about the upcoming stand down is Claude Shipley, Deputy Director for Homeless Veterans Stand Down. Good morning to you. Good morning. Glad to be here. Uh, three to 400 uh, people, veterans, homeless in our area, what does that kind of say ab about the need that's out there? There's quite a need. Uh, nationwide, there's 50,000 uh, homeless veterans estimated. In this area, as uh, you said, there's three to 400. So what we're trying to do with the stand out, it's a military term uh, uh, that uh, comes from a unit coming out of combat. Mm -hmm. uh, they refit, get rested, uh, maybe do some training. Uh, what we're using it for is to have a three-day, two-night uh, secure environment for the veterans to come to. The outcome we like to have is be able to provide permanent housing and also legal and court uh, ca capabilities uh, for for the uh, veterans. There are more ser service and support provided also. There's also been a lot of work done. You know, we've covered the stories in, in the past couple of years of permanent housing opportunities opening and being built for veterans. But here, it, it's not an overnight uh, a mission. It, it takes time to help out these veterans. Tell me about some of the long-term uh, programs out there and, and ways that you guys try to work and bring awareness. We work with the uh, Federal uh, Veterans Administration uh, person here in town. Uh, Dina Corbett Green is uh, responsible for that. We also work with uh, two organizations that have federal grants uh, from the Veterans Administration, uh, Big Bend Homeless Coalition and also Family Endeavors. And they've put together staff uh, with those grants for an outreach to be able to help uh, homeless veterans achieve uh, uh, per, uh, it's homeless and at-risk uh, uh, veterans achieve permanent housing. And you'll see some of the pictures coming up on your here screen uh, on your screen from like last year's event, mm -hmm. and a lot of different ways of how uh, these veterans are being helped out. I mean, simple things like even haircuts and and, and food and things like that. Yes, uh, there will be food, uh, eight meals during that three-day two, uh, two, uh, two two nights. Uh, there'll be eight meals uh, being served, uh, as you said, haircut, hairstyling for the ladies. Uh, there'll be clothing provided. It's been donated by the uh, local community. We have uh, mm -hmm. uh, military. Uh, equipment such as uh, backpacks, uh, fanny packs. Uh, we'll be using military cots that have been sent in. We've got uh, what the term of general purpose medium mm -hmm. tents. Veterans generally know what that means, but it's the tents that they'll be sleeping in cots. And real quick, as some of the information comes up on your screen here about the actual event and when it's taking place. Claude, you also say there's a great need for volunteers. Yes, absolutely. Uh, can't pull something off like this without volunteers. And last year we had 850 volunteer hours, and we still uh, need some shifts uh, being filled by volunteers. Uh, that would be tremendously helpful, such as uh, the clothing sorting, mm -hmm. leaving out the clothing, but, uh, the registration, uh, the volunteer registration ta uh, tables as they come in. Uh, but it is a, a very important food service and the hospitality. Uh, we could not pull something off like this without the uh, volunteers. And, and certainly need your help. And again, you've got, you see the information there on your screen. We'll, of course, have it posted a little bit later this morning up on our website, WTXL.TV, so you can help those who have put their lives on the line for our country. Claude Shipley, thank you very much for thank talking you, to us this morning about the upcoming stand down. Again, WTXL.TV, where you'll find those informations later this morning.